I've heard brothers say also that, you know, if you're talking about alpha males, vegans aren't your, what you think of when you think about alpha men. Um, I've heard brothers tell me when they became vegan, they became more emotional. Mm. Um, if you want to move the aggression that it takes to maneuver in this world as a man, especially in this country, do you think veganism is the appropriate diet for a brother who wants to move like a warrior? You on your Tupac energy. Do you think being a vegan is the appropriate diet to facilitate that warrior aura that you want to um, display to the world. Okay, so let's go. Let's go deeper than that. Like let's let's look at the, you know your body is a, is a vehicle of the Most High of the Creator. Okay, mm -hmm. and let's look at some of the most some may you know abundant vehicles. Like you would not put crude oil in a Maybach and expect it to run effectively. It needs a specific type of fuel. Right. So as you begin to open your consciousness to your of your mind and you're doing your spiritual work, your body needs specifics to thrive at a higher accelerated rate to complement what you're doing spiritually, emotionally and mentally. Right. It's called holistic wellness. So. I live on a planet that is mostly, mostly water and green. Right. My body is mainly water. I'm drinking greens and water. The greens are charged by the sun. I'm charging my cells. Well, my cells move more effectively. My prostate moves more effectively. My manhood. There's no blockage in my colon. So there's no impacted waste pushing down on my prostate or mucus like Dr. Uh, Sabi will talk about the blockages, right? There are no blockages pushing down. So therefore, I can, I can, do, do, my, I can do more work at a high quality. My water is like how I internally libate is, is a complement to how I feed my mind. How I feed my mind is complementary to how I do my daily spiritual observances. How my spiritual observances are an extension of me doing physical disciplines, whether it be African dance, martial arts, resistance training, strength training, um, calisthenics, just to celebrate that I have limbs that work. So all of these work in tandem for you to move effectively. Now, uh, we, we th th that's a that's a loaded uh, description. You know, we associate um, aggression with non-vegan, right? And well, let me tell you something, man. You know what's in, you know what's aggressive? Prostate cancer. That's aggressive. Okay, cancer of of you know cancer in your ascending and descending colon. That's aggressive. Okay. Uh, a failed kidney uh, and, and, and a failed liver, heart attacks. Those are aggressive situations. And so there are, there are foods or drugs masquerading as foods that we put inside our machine that clog up the effective us of our effective ability to do more work. Mm. The human body can adapt. Yes, we can go a long time and, until we're checked. But the thing is to move effectively on the planet. Mm. To, move, uh, to move and do powerful work. You don't need no mucus and no blockage. Now, if we want to equate aggression and strength, well, the most aggressive alpha in the jungle is the silverback and the gorilla. Wave over, weighs over 600 pounds, faster than you can even, faster than you can even blink, and it eats what? Greens. That's it. It's plant based and it's powerful and it can go to toe to toe with any other aggressive uh, carnivore. But it's a herbivore. Mm -hmm. Right. So I just think that I, one thing about me, Brother Rich, I was born and raised vegan from Queen of Fool's womb. I'm 44 years all my life vegan mm -hmm. from her womb. Now, I don't demonize brothers and sisters who are not vegan. I would encourage more plant-based foods, right? Because everybody's at a different level. But I say this, if you're not vegan, right, then make better, even food, better choices that you can make, you know, instead of maybe fried foods, have maybe baked foods, right? Instead of just having all types of 
red, you know, maybe cut back on red meats and maybe have just the chicken and fish. It's not for this free range and organic. It's not for a whole bunch of, you know, hormones and synthetics. Now, I would want brothers and sisters to have the ability to do more work because their body can move at at an effective level. But find what works for you and master your work in the world. Every day, make sure that you at least make sure that you're having from a.m. to p.m., Brother Rich, a gallon of water. Hydrate. Mm-hmm. Your body's 70% water. So the more water you drink, the more harmony you are with yourself and harmony and your harmony with the, with the water planet you live on. So start there. Right? And mm-hmm. then as you begin to master your consciousness and master your body, your body will want to have more food, fruits and vegetables that are what? Filled with water. Right. Mm-hmm. And so you just start journeying down the pathway of high quality, high value men, high value women. Right. That's, that's what Brother Samuel was talking about. Right. High value men. Mm-hmm. So a high value man can't be, you know, talking about I'm, I'm making six to eight to nine figures, but I only put two dollars in my stomach to nourish myself. I get a one for two and, and think that I'm going to be able to maintain seven, eight, nine, ten figures without any prostate issues. And colon issues. And colon issues and prostate issues are going to stop your work in the world. It's going to slow down your work. Mm-hmm. Right? It's, 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 so it's, it's understanding the language. And maybe brothers and sisters who were plant-based or vegan at one time, Brother Rich, maybe they didn't understand what what a system was necessary for them specifically to thrive. Like, like they may have come into like a, maybe a universal knowledge of it, but they, they may not have journeyed down a deeper Die. That's why I said we have to make a, a do a self audit. Mm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because everything that works for supernova slum may not necessarily work for you, but there are some universal fundamentals. Mm. I eat plants, you know, fresh fruits and vegetables. It helps for better colon, better skin. We need to be hydrated, right? The more greens you have in your body, the more your cells are, are waking up and, and thriving, right? And so then you said, you know, you make you do you do your own self audit, brother Rich. You know, when have your water. Eat some fried food. See how you feel after that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you feel that you could do more work, you know, flushing on your sea moss and on your green, your mega greens, you know, and things of that nature. Did you feel more encouraged and more that you could do more work in the world? Did you feel sluggish? You feel blocked? And that's what you look at, Brother Rich. But it's not only food, Brother Rich. It's also food. It's also relationships. What are you, what are you nourishing yourself with? You know, that, that's, that's the conversation we're talking about with uh, Dr. Samuels and Dr. Umar is, you know, what type of relationships are we having with ourselves, right? So we can attract and nourishing relationships outside of ourselves. And this is why man heal thyself on this warrior. We teach our brothers, you know, to establish your fortress of wellness in you and do a daily self audit. You know, mm-hmm. you may try some plant-based things and some vegan things. It may not necessarily be where you show up, right? But what's happening? You're having more water, you're having more fruits and vegetables, right? You're moving more. You know, you're doing your meditation. You're doing your spiritual work. You're doing your soaks. So you may be at that level and it's all good, right? I'm more into encouraging brothers and sisters to find your personal holistic wellness protocol for yourself so you can thrive. Will, does Supernova wish that brothers and sisters be more plant-based and vegan? I would love it. But I understand. I have compassion. Remember I started with that word, Brother Rich? I have mm. passion for brothers and sisters who are not. And if I could just encourage you where you may be, pour into you where you may be, and you take that nourishing and you continue to nourish yourself, then then, then what's going to happen is you're, a new you is going to come re- be revealed to you. And you'll know what, what's necessary for you. Indeed. So, when, when you, you know, you mentioned Kevin Samuels. Do you think there's a problem if we're going to, you know, in terms of relationships and learn how to... Uh, get back to this, you know, maintaining a family unit. Right. Um, Is there anything wrong with being more blunt? Do you feel as though from a man's perspective, is there anything wrong with being more blunt in the way you talk to women and not hide behind? Some people, I'm not saying all brothers hide, but some people will feel like brothers hide behind a peace queen, hotep queen. How are you doing mother goddess or sister or whatever? If a brother's that's just more direct and like, yo, yo, you like, is there, is, is, some people may feel that's not the proper way for a man to talk. 
to a woman. So do you see anything wrong with the brothers, not just that brother, but any brother's bluntness, bluntness when it comes to uh, communicating with uh, the queens out here? Well, we have we should have mindful speech, and there's a way to to be mass to master your bluntness, which is mastering your truth. Master your bluntness. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Not reckless, just g checking somebody, inspecting right. high right. fonts, right? Right. People, most people are on the defense when you talking to them, right? So, mm. you know, if you want to be more effective in your communication, you be honest. That's the first virtue you want to hold true. But you know what I'm saying. Uh, your delivery of your bluntness or your truth virtue will yield based upon the frequency that you're able to communicate. Mm -hmm. so if you're trying to, uh, if a man's trying to uh, speak truth to power to a woman and he wants a woman to see where he's coming from, right? He has mm -hmm. to the contact that she's coming, she's in her emotional mastery. She, that's what she lives at. <laughs> she, she's already there. So you say, okay, I'm been dealing with a sister that is in her emotional mastery. You know, I'm trying to get her to be more objective in her thinking because she's subjected already. I'm trying to, I'm trying to have a be objective, right, to her subjectivity. So maybe my approach can still be strong, still be alpha and hard, but maybe, maybe how I deliver it. Because I, if I, if my purpose is not to take the head off, but my purpose is to, is to get understanding, right, then the method that you go at it how the frequency your tone see a, a man has to master his tone and his cadence right how are you speaking to a woman will she receive the information because if, it, if it's about if it's about having her gain understanding it's the way you spit it right if you're just trying to be a toxic alpha and you just want to knock your head off with you know my way the highway well you're gonna but just be prepared brother rich to receive that which you delivered you know so it's about that's why I said earlier, Brother Rich, about the the power, our superpower. One of our superpowers is compassion for one another. And I speak about the archetype of Dr. Umar's tone and the archetype of Dr. Samuel's tones. Both are necessary for the whole man to function. Right? So, so what would you, uh, what advice would you give to brothers? Because a lot of the, I guess, a lot of the brothers is saying that. Uh, when we use the term modern woman, brothers feel like the modern woman isn't the same as the woman in your mother's generation. So, you know, you'll see brothers on, on video or on the street, they'll say, yo, I got to be aggressive because that's all she understands. Right. So what would you say to a young brother who feels like he has to talk aggressive or behave in an aggressive manner because that's the um, that's the vibe that he's getting from the woman in his immediate community? Well, well, again, I bring it back all responsibility to the man. It's it's our mm -hmm. we have to hold the woman. So what first of all, what type of woman are you attracting, young man? Right? So you, you, you know, the women are, are ultimately gonna be the cadence to which you're that's it. You know what I'm saying? So this is why, you know, I encourage brothers to do the, the you know, man heal thyself. You know, you have to take accountability for you. Right. And, and and know when to go within and to clean up your emotional body, clean up your get your get a greater understanding of how you need to function so you can be a master communicator. See, because the women are the wombs, they hold they hold the frequency and, and then they hold it and they can germinate it and they birth based upon the seed that you that you're putting in. So if you're if you're if you if you feel that like you have to be aggressive. And you have to knock her head off with, with gaining understanding. Well, then she's going to take that. <laughs> she's going to nurture that frequency, that resonance. And she's going to birth to you back that chaos. So my challenge to the men is not to give our sisters a pass from that. It's to, it's to check ourselves. We have to first establish that we are valuable. Right? This I said, doing, that brother, which I said earlier about the self-audit, the emotional audit. The mental audit, the physical, and the you know the mental audit. Really getting the more man knows himself, the better he can communicate effectively. See, we want effective communication. We want power communication, right? See, a woman loves a man that's into himself because he looks like he's self-contained. Well, what's that brother about, man? He's always working. He's he's well put together. He's groomed. He's into himself, right? 
So we need to encourage our brothers to continue to pour into yourself to be the best version of yourself that you can be. Be really activate your Godhead. And if the woman is not in harmony in my aunt, if you need to lay down the 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 the, the truth to her and, and, and hardness to her, just do it with compassion, mindful speech, mindful communication. Because see, we're trying to encourage our brothers to, we need to rebrand the man. Man needs to be rebranded. You know, men everywhere are our responsibility, Brother Rich. It's not our women. Our women are doing the best they could. It's men. We are each other's responsibility, right? So the more we can actually each one teach one, each one reach one, pass these tools and principles on, on from, that we have massed in ourselves to our brothers, then we are actually creating more of a healed whole man. But if we are selfish with our brothers and we and we uh we want to dominate over our brothers, we want to backbite and talk low on them and and not work and not be willing to be harmonious with our brothers, well, it's only a matter of time before the woman show you your work in the world. So yeah, you or well, I'm not like those guys. I'm my own guy, right? So you're separating yourself from the church and state. But a whole man is never separated from church and state. The church is his state. He is the shrine. He is the mosque. He is the cathedral. He is the temple, right? And so this is what I'm saying, Brother Rich, is that you, me, the pillars, all of us brothers, we have to continue to pour into each other to be the best versions of ourselves. So we have communication with our woman. We stand on our signal as valuable, as discerning men. And when our woman will take that resident and birth it back to us. And this is what we, it, it, it takes, but like I said, our power, our superpower is, Brother Rich, compassion, having compassion. If we can start there, then we, we are, where our ancestors' dreams may manifest. 500 years of chattel slavery and, and disconnect, you know, by just have, practicing mindful speech and compassion with each other, we're honoring our ancestors. It's not easy because some of our sisters also, some of them, not all of them, are low vibrational. Like I said, um, in the beginning with Dr. Samuels, you know, Dr. Umar's criti you know, criticism of him was super thick. How, how, you know, he's asking the woman how she looks and how she, but, but Dr. Umar respectively did not understand what the sister's question and comment was. The sister came to Dr. Samuels and said, I want a man that's eight figures. And all he says, well, you have to be a woman that can contain a man with eight figures. That's nothing wrong with that. So if we don't begin to have this critical uh, um, communication with each other, um, Brother Rich, with compassion, we can be critical, we can be hard, mm. but mm. I, I, I would signal and, and pray that from this conversation that we walk away with that understanding. Indeed, okay. Great, great, great conversation, family. Shout out to everybody in the, that's in the room. Well, having, a, having a wonderful conversation with Supernova Slum. Show them that book, my brother. Yes. Before we continue. Heal Man, heal thyself. We're talking about mental health. We're talking to the brothers. I'm going to have to show for the Queens uh, next month or in July with Queen of Four dealing with women in mental health. Oh, show that one. What that, what's the name of that one? What's it? It's Sacred Woman. Yes. The guide to him and healing, the guide to healing the feminine body, mind, and spirit. So when we can start to really and support our women and be sacred, and our women feel that they're valuable, right? Mm -hmm. She didn't want a man that's eight figures, but she's building her eight figures in her emotional space, her mental mm -hmm. space. You know what I'm saying? Her womb space. She's building that in herself. And then the brothers is pouring in himself. He's doing his inner work. And then together, they complement each other. Mm. How, they, how they go? They work. To, they, 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 they're so focused on doing the work. Remember earlier we said, brother Rich, that the that each symbol for myrrh, well, the, the symbol for love is the plow, myrrh. Right, right. Plow. So if we're both working on ourselves, we can be better compliments for each other. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Is that uh? Oh, I thought that was King. Shout out to King Simon. Okay, yeah, that is King Simon. Shout out to King Simon, my brother. I'm call you tomorrow i didn't forget about you my brother but i did um mention you being the king of numerology early in the oh, show yeah. so shout out to the brother king simon i didn't forget about you my brother i'm going to give you a call uh tomorrow my brother uh supernova slump so 
In terms of men and I guess our frustration yes. with, with the culture and with 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 what's going on with the with this whole with, with our families and with women in general, a lot of it go ties back into men, what they would say, uh, you remember the songs, the Papa was a Rolling Stone, or you know, uh, uh, our inability to be faithful to one woman has correct havoc right. on our community. I mean, havoc. I mean, what they said, uh, uh, scorn woman. How they saying go about a scorn woman? You don't, hell hath no fury like a scorn woman. Scorned. A woman right. scorn. So a lot of that is a result of the man cheating on her. And we've seen, oh man, fights, people get killed. So many things happen because of a man's inability to be faithful. And the brothers is out here saying supernova, like, listen, that just saying our nature, this traditional family that they push in America, that's not who we are. Right. So y'all want us to be something, but that's not our nature. We just not meant to, I'm not talking for me in particular, I, you know, I'm, I'm with a queen, but I'm just saying in, in general, or just don't all brothers feel that way. But in general, I get that that's how brothers is feeling like, yo, this just ain't who we are. We ain't never going to change this. Brother so Bishop, what's your thoughts on that, brother? I, my thing, brother, bitch, if, if you're going to be a man that practice polygyny or polyamory, be a man that's honest. Be an honest yeah. man. See, because see, the honesty is your superpower. We talk about superpowers, right? right. Passion, honesty. You said, you know, be, brother, being front, being real. Keep it a hundred. Now, all women are not necessarily going to uh, be aligned with that, but there are sisters that are willing to work with you based upon your, you know, she's going to do an audit. She's going to, well, who are you to request? <laughs> right. So, yeah. brother, master your relationship with one. Mm. Use mm. that. Ask the relationship of one, right? And if you have the mm -hmm. capacity to facilitate more wombs, now your first relationship becomes an example where other sister wives come into. But if you're not disciplined with yourself first as a man in your own healing, and then be able to complement and master one relationship, brother, you're walking into absolute utter chaos. So, I, you know, for the brothers out there that are practicing multiple extended families you know first internal uh, audit do the daily do your daily pouring into yourself strengthen your body mind spirit if you have the capacity outside yourself to love another being master that with that one woman mm. that one woman becomes the example she becomes a sacred woman complement to your work and what you're doing and, and you with her then if you're going to add to the family it's in truth you have a sister that's building on what you to establish Right. And then the third sister, the fourth sister. Right. And mm -hmm. so now your capacity will be expanded. And now more now you have to be more responsible to maintain your extended capacity. So that, it's a lot just for a man to pour into himself. Right. And, and not forget to make sure that he is an accountable man. Then mm -hmm. to have a relationship with another human being, then to multiply it. So for some brothers, brother Rich, I would say if you have the capacity to be moving and grooving, do it honestly. Because see, the brothers that move, they're moving in the doing the shadow shadow movement, right? Mm -hmm. You're you're only adding to the chaos, you know, that we none of us are healing from. I think supernova. I think a lot of brothers think they could be faithful to one woman, but when they get tested. That's when they like, damn, I but but a lot of brothers would be like, yo, you know, my mind was telling me no, but then my other mind, my other brain was telling me yes. So a lot of brothers, they may really try to be faithful, but once again, it just seemed like it's just not in their nature. No, yeah, you know what I'm saying? And but that goes back to honesty, brother Rich. We men, again, we have to do the daily audit. We have to that man must know thyself. Okay, the more you 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 pour into yourself, dear brothers, you work on forgiving what was not um available to you in your growth and development, and you face your truth. Mm. You are um, that facilitate responsibly multiple interactions. Just be honest with yourself. You know, the problem with the sisters is they think they got you, and then you know, they find out that you're, you're, you know, you're, you're spreading your seed everywhere. So, but if you, but if they know that you are a high value man and then you just, you have the capacity to facilitate more than one and you're an honorable, truthful man, then the women will compliment that or not.
right? So then brothers have the respect of a sister's not with that because again, you want to find a relationship, brother Rich, that is that is a complement to what your signal is, right? So, 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 you know, if you are a brother that's, that's, you know, I, I need a tribe, I'm trying to establish my tribe, then that's the signal I would say to establish in yourself first, establishing your work in the world, you know, acquire your, your physical uh, material abundance, you know, show that you're a man of, of, of a fortune 500 man, that you have multiple businesses, you can facilitate, children's got jobs, wives got jobs, like you, you're a provider, you can be a master provider. And then it, as a massive provider, you're, then you're truly honest. Well, listen, I'm not looking for a monogamous situation. I'm a man that that is looking to build my pride, right? And brothers don't come with that clarity, brother. But you know, brothers a lot of times come with just the stick in the movement. It's the pop of a rolling stone. Supernova, what do you think about this response to what you're saying? Uh, I'm assuming this is a brother. In this society, more than likely, you have to lie. Most women haven't been raised in a family-oriented environment and are steeped in Western romantic propaganda. They're way too possessive. So this brother, is he's hearing, or sister, they're hearing what you're saying, but they're saying, listen, that sound good, but when you really face with that, it's like you know, you don't even have that option to tell to be that honest sometimes. Well, well so, again, you know. with Brother Rich, this, the honesty is a virtue of self. Mm. Mm. Possibly with you. So the mm. first person you're dishonest with is you. Mm. I would say if you are a brother that, that can facilitate multiple women, do not dumb down. Don't lie. Mm. Mm. Stick on your honest alpha man square. Say, no, this is what I, I'm the man. I am high value. This is what I've accumulated in my life. This is what I'm looking to build. And I'm I'm not going to, um, if I got to go somewhere else to get it. Some you may, some brothers may have to activate that visa, activate that passport and go, go to the continent. You can fit America and Africa over 50 times, right? Mm -hmm. So you, the, 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 maybe your local neighborhood or, 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 or Atlanta, New York and, and Atlanta, New York and LA is, is too many for you. You may, if you really want to be abundant and tribesmen, you may need to go abroad and, and, and meet other sisters from other coach, uh, African cultures. If you want to keep it in the melanated family, you mm -hmm. know, sisters that have different types of cultural bylaws and mores that are different from Western women. But Western women are the product of 500 years of indentured servitude. Mm -hmm. so you, you dealing with the Western women, you have to have a compassion for our sister. They dealing with some serious stuff that you dealing with. But if you want to expand past Western women, then don't then don't don't play the sisters here. Now this is where I would ask activate Dr. Umar's spirit about him saying, "Don't disrespect our women. Go abroad. Go go to a, a Muslim dominated country where where that's the standard, and you ain't got to lie because that's the that's the cultural standard. But but to try to to try to to try to show up like that in the West, and you're not and you're dishonest." And you're not on your alpha square, and you don't even communicate the honesty to yourself. But then you want that you want the right to have multiple women, brother. Can you master one? Mm. Master mm -hmm. one, and then if the women see fit to, to, to align with you, they will. And if they're not here, brother, <laughs> they're somewhere else. Hey man, I salute the brothers who are able to, you know. Do it right. Like I, I see how Brother Polite moves with his queens and it's commendable to see the brother move the way he moves. And, uh, you know, just me having one queen, you know, for 15 years. That no, 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 we we'll put some celebration on that, brother. Uh. <laughs> no, no, to be a no, to be in our age. Realm, yeah. Is, that's so yeah. thing. So look, 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 you just shared, brother Rich. You just shared you and your queen and then brother Polite and his queens. Too powerful. Different. You showed I father further through time. The two years. He showed I master capacity. Both of virtuous, powerful attributes. Why? Because you are honest, and your woman is a reflection of your honesty. Brother Polite with his wives, he's honest. And and, and then they 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 are honest in that cadence. So you just showed it from monogamy, 15 years, that's powerful. Right to a brother that has the capacity in his truth to expand. But what people don't forget about Brother Polite, Brother Polite started with Aminette. That was right. about that. Right. That right. was together. They were together when they were 15, 16 years old. So she was the first wife. They they mastered the relationship first. And so every other 
addition to the tribe was a complement to what the initial union was founded on. What do you think, um, Supernova? I'm, I want to ask you one more question. That I want to get a couple of questions from the people. Uh, that you know, they I see they're very active in the chat. Um, Emily, I this comment made me think of a question from Tiffany Hooker. Tiffany Hooker said men have a hard time taking care of multiple kids, let alone multiple women. I think sometimes Supernova, the problem is brothers, their their nature is to be with more more than one woman, but they their pockets ain't right for whatever reason. Absolutely. You can blame it on society, you can blame it on them, whatever, but their pockets ain't right. Right. So we're telling them, nigga, your pockets got to be right if you want more than one woman. And that brother's saying, well, goddamn, I got to have a hundred thousand just to be with like that's just who I am. Why I got to have a hundred thousand just to be more than one woman if that's just who I am. Well, naturally. I, would, I would say our sisters will now have to raise their value because it was they have to say, I, I refuse to deal with that type of man, right? See, because see, that brother is only fueled because there's a group of women that give him access because those group of women don't value themselves enough to allow him to raise up his his standard with them right so some like the water seeks his level either the man has to say you know what let me just take a a fast from being with all these women focus on myself get my life correct get my life right maximize master my emotional self my emotional body heal my heal my tri childhood childhood trauma so i won't bring my childhood trauma into my next relationship right because that confusion that man's walking with he's sticking and moving into all those wounds and those wounded wounds like dr phil valentine talks about those wounded wounds also are giving him debris giving him heavy karma so we we're, we're just we're just vibrationally just uh 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 you know, lowering each other's org field because we're not doing the inner healing work. So our sisters are holding the pain in the wombs. Our brothers are holding their pain in their hearts, right? And so I would encourage those brothers, value yourself. That starts with you, divine brother. You are sacred, brother. No one told you today, brothers. I'm talking to you, black men. You are sacred. You are worthy of high value. You are worthy of healing. You are worthy of, of taking time every day to do the self accountability audit so you can be the best version of yourself. Insistence, you do not have to settle for brothers who are not in their Godhead. You can keep a strong, powerful woman signal and encourage him by you saying, hey, black man, you want access to this? Woom, you gonna have to do, right? And and you'd be surprised how many brothers would be just needed to hear that. They they, they just needed that inspiration, that, that anointing. If our women are really our goddesses and our queens, then when the woman speaks, she's either anointing you to build you up or she's breaking you down. Indeed, indeed, brother. Um, I want to uh somebody was texting me. I want to um get some questions, family. Give me some questions for supernova slum, supernova slum. Such a wonderful, much needed conversation. Black men out there, talk to me, brothers. Y'all in the chat, man. Talk to us. Let me let us know how you feel. Let us know how you feel about this conversation. Uh, talk to us. I think this is an important conversation with us just releasing, mm. you know, things that we've been holding inside of us that doesn't that no longer bet that never benefited us. Never benefited, yes. Yeah. So uh talk to us black man. Uh black woman talk to us. Let us know if there's something you would like us to do or something you would like to say to us that you think may benefit our mental health. Mm. So uh you I'm gonna I'm a, uh let y'all give me about I'm gonna take a couple of questions. Once again I want to give a shout out to Supernova Slam I will be on with Queen of Four and probably next month, family. We're going to deal with women and mental health. So, uh, yeah, show that book. You're the sacred woman. So today we were dealing with the brothers. When I talk to the queen, we're going to deal with the sisters and the mental health of sisters. And what, what uh, people are calling, or Kevin Samuels is calling, the modern woman. Mm. Uh, people feel like the modern man is different from the, you know, the man that we read about, the kings of ancient Egypt. They feel like the modern woman is different from the queens of ancient Egypt. So we're treating each other differently because we feel like we don't come from that, mm. that line right there. But um, we're going to have a good conversation. Let me see what the um, 
You said they could get that book on Amazon, by the way, right, Supernova? That's yes, brother. brother uh, it's Man Heal Thyself, The Wellness Warrior's Journey to Self Mastery by Supernova Slam and Queen of Four. It's available on Amazon. Okay. Um, okay, great. This is okay. Healthy Girl T says, How can I help my son who said he is depressed and therefore he smokes marijuana? Mm. All right. Well, depression. Well, we like I, I mentioned earlier about um, taking a sacred healing bath. Okay, something in you, you know your, your smoke. The smoking, you know, he's trying to be getting in a relaxed state because he's in an agitated state. So, try. I would say if you could get a get some mineral salt, you can find it at Whole Foods or Vitamin Shop or your local pharmaceutical. You can get a uh, four pound of salt. You can add lavender, some eucalyptus inside of the Epsom. And you make your son a nice, warm, warm, warm bath. Sit him in that. Put some relaxing music on. And automatically, whatever he was, he was that trauma, that that uh, blockage that he was having, it will roll right off him. Put him in. That's what Mother Queen of Food did with me when I was going through in, in my development. I was I had many bouts of in and out of the street life and just rebelling against my mother's teachings. And she would <laughs> she would get with me, put me into that healing bath, and immediately all of that that debris I had with life and how I felt about myself, I would come right into that oneness and that one point. So like I said, sis, four to eight pounds, four to eight pounds of Epsom salt. You can add your own um, tinctures to it. Some eucalyptus is calming for the nerves. You can add some lavender. It's also calming for the senses and just put some really relaxing meditation or some binaural beats, which is good for his org field. Have that plane, have him soak for 30 to 45 minutes and your son will come out brand new. All right. Um, Elevated engineering wants to know. I guess my question is: Are men evolving or devolving? Well, I would say, man as a <laughs> whole is responsible for himself. He is responsible for his journey, his life, and the self mastery. So I would say we're at a flashpoint. We're at a we're at a medium of balance right now. Um, some brothers are stuck into old programming, and there are other men that are really expanding and going within. Right. And so, like I said to, um, with Brother Rich earlier, is that men are men's responsibility. So the more that we actually activate the tenet of each one, teach one, each one, reach one, as one man heals and he heals and gets stronger, he passes on those tenets to the next man. And we ultimately rebrand man. All right. Uh, Live Life says, why should we listen to women who don't even like us? Supernova. Well, yeah, you shouldn't. <laughs> You but but you want to say all women like you know there are women who probably do not like you right but then mm -hmm. but if you look at your journey objectively there were probably women on your journey that mm -hmm. like your mother your grandfather your sister your cousins women in your neighborhood girlfriends maybe you were not ready to receive you know what I'm saying the, the the knowledge the wisdom that women bring to the table at the time you know so I would say again practice gratitude and and, and may you journey in grace because. Maybe it's the time to take the self audit, brother Rich, right there. Let's take a self audit and change some things inside, so he can attract the better quality of the woman. All right, true. Wants to know, super, as supernova salute, should we be totally healed before entering into relationship, or heal and build together? Very good question. Great question. Thank you, um, sister True. So healing is a lifelong journey. Nobody completely healed. You know, we're all yes every day self audit you're doing an audit of the emotional body mental body body spiritual body you're finding ways to create a cadence in your life rituals practices that can allow you to have a better quality of life you first want to establish that cadence in yourself and get a rhythm going so you woman knows thyself man knows thyself and then if you have a partner in the relationship and they they are excited also to do that internal work then that then you, that can be an established daily ritual that you do together. Y'all both may do your prayer work together. You may do your altar work together. Your altar is your energy station that you acknowledge your ancestors with, right? So you may ancestral work together. You may do a fast together, a purge together. So if you're in a relationship that both partners are willing to do the work, then daily you all can be of this healing journey. Indeed, indeed. Let's see. Um... Uh, I said, beautiful. What if you don't have a bad tub, bathtub for the soap? Okay. I know, I know sitting in water is powerful. 
That's great. Okay, cool. So um, you can create um, a, with a, a spirit. You can take um, um, some herbs and you can um, put them on, boil them in, in the um, in a pot. You can actually take the same concoction I said. You can take some lavender leaves, some eucalyptus leaves, some lavender oil, and you could take at least two to four pounds of the Epsom salt. You boil it in the water, allow it to steep and to marinate. And you can add some basil leaf to that, some mint leaves if you want, right? And then you take you take a pot or a, a bowl in your shower and you slowly pour it on yourself over in the hot shower. With the extra basil leaves and the eucalyptus leaves, you use it as an exfoliant, okay? So the skin is the largest organ on the body. So you're taking all of those leaves and you're brushing on, on your shoulders and your neck and your and your face. And then you let, and then after that, after you pour all the the um the, the the heated bath on you, you stay in the shower for at least ten to fifteen minutes, and just practice on your deep breathing, practice on centering yourself, set your visualized intention, and you will come out of that bath renewed and restored, out of the shower. <laughs> Indeed, uh, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take about three more questions, y'all. How would could I introduce this to my man who is not conscious net? This is Sharina Tyler. Serena Tyler, if, if you, I would immediately tell you to go to Amazon and get a copy of Man Heal Thyself, The Wellness Warrior's Journey to Self Mastery, and just say, hey, hey, beloved, I got you a, a beautiful gift, a book that I think that you would benefit from. And when, when he opens the first page, and it's going to speak to him because it's speaking in a way that is pouring back into him. OK, so you may not you may not he may not be ready to fully go through the transformation, but get them, get him the book as a gift and allow him to take the first step. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Um, and that's is that's beautiful that you want to introduce consciousness to your man. So I definitely commend you for that, Sharina. That's incredible. Yeah. Oh. Hey, now you see how that sister communicated that 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 goes against what the brother said. Our woman don't, you know pour into us or, you know, woman talk down on us. So she's an example of a woman that sees the, the power of a man, the potential of a man, wants to do everything she can to, to support him. So there are women out here that, that are further in the development, but they're not leaving us. They want to reach back to um to lend a support to the brothers and, and see their men um, evolve and strengthen too. Indeed, indeed. Uh, Ra Key, how could sacred women help men and woman and vice versa. I hope I don't really understand it that much. Do you understand the question? Well, I mean, I mean, support it's like it's like the sister said, you know, sacred woman, you know, a woman that is doing her sacred work, right? That, you know, and she's becoming a new version, a better version of herself, she becomes a better compliment to you. And as you go as a man, you know, to compliment your sacred woman, you're becoming a man that is on your self-mastery healing journey. So both of your work in tandem to compliment each other on your daily healing journey. Indeed, family. I think I'm going to end it there. I don't see any more. I thought, I, brothers, I thought, man, brothers, man, how y'all not going to ask more questions, man? We had sisters coming with the questions. Like, come on, y'all. Let, let me speak to the brothers real quick. Let me pour this into to, y'all real quick. The Wellness Warrior Man. We recognize and salute the Wellness Warrior Man healing champion who has traveled beyond the state common. He is a man that is willing to take on his self-mastery. You are still on your quest to becoming the supreme man of your personal power. Wellness warrior man is diligently on his path to wellness. It takes your full force, full attention, and your conventions to break the cycle of toxic mental, physical, sexual, dietary addictions and tap into your inner wholeness, brothers. The wellness warrior man has become so aware of himself that he is willing to fight every day to maintain his growth and development. In order to maintain a healthy and vibrant lifestyle, the wellness warrior lives a detoxification and rejuvenation daily. He protects himself from falling prey to toxic living with over abusing <clears throat> drugs, alcohol, and tobacco as well as flesh foods, junk foods, and microwave processed foods. The wellness warrior transforms himself by any means necessary to become an enlightened whole man, body, mind, and spirit. The wellness warrior is a force to be reckoned with. He will fight for his wellness, his whole being. 
his supreme consciousness. The wellness warrior not only will defend his right to live a healthy and vibrant life, but he also fights for his family, his friends, and his community. He is a warrior for the global shift of wellness. I say unto you, wellness warriors, be convicted, pick up your sword of life, and cut through your blockages, and break through, and be activate the power of your wellness of Octum Living. Wellness salute, beloved. Wellness salute, my brother. That was powerful. That was powerful, man. Wow. Wow, man. I mean, th this was a great show, family. This was a great show. I hope y'all, I, I know y'all got something out of it. And I'm glad both, both the sisters and the brothers is watching and listening. Just like when I have Queen of Fool on here in a month from now, brothers, I don't want just the sisters to be here. I want y'all to be here as well. So we can both learn from each other. Uh, that's it. That, and right there, uh, Brother Rich, that <coughs> showed <coughs> of Dr. Umar's and Dr. S because both of them really want us to be here for each other. Dr. Umar wants us to love and respect our women, right? And Dr. Samuels want our women to be the best versions of themselves for the men that they truly want. That's what, that's what he wants. He's like, okay, if you really say you want this type of man, step up. So we want to encourage our sisters to step up into your sacred womanship. Our brothers, step up into your wellness selves. And let's 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 make a let's make a commitment to our commitment to be the best versions of ourselves. Hey, Supernova, leave your contact information for the people. And somebody did ask, do you do counseling to teens? So answer that and leave your contact information before we get out of here, brother. Hey, well, I'm currently running a rites of passage called the Wellness Warriors Rites of Passage. It's an online training we do twice a year. We have 60 brothers that we're taking through the, the healing um, journey right now. And the next one is opened up in September. So you can go to www.queenofua.com. That's Q-U-E-E-N-A-F-U-A.com and check into the schools tab and you can check into Wellness Warriors, and that's coming up in September. So you, we'll be happy to have y'all join us for that. Um, y'all can follow me on all social media handles here on YouTube, on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook at Super Nova Slom, S U P A N O V A S L O M. Subscribe to me here on YouTube. I'll be back to be with my beloved brother Rich. And thank you, family. Wellness Warriors salute. And you can get you can get the this book right here by myself and my mother Queen of Fua. Man Heal Thyself, The Wellness Warrior's Journey to Optimum Wellness to Self-Mastery. It's available on Amazon. Indeed. Once again, family, I want to thank you for tuning in for tonight's episode. Uh, I'm going to be back on the air tomorrow night. So uh, probably around 9 o'clock, same time. So come back tomorrow night. I'll be back live again. Mm -hmm. uh, but I want to thank the whole Supernova Slum. I mean, brother's been doing work for years and for years on the music scene on the health scene, on the lecture scene. I mean, just in so many different areas for our community, man. So, brother, thank you for the great, awesome work. Thank I you. look forward to having you back on here. This is Brother Rich, UGR with Supernova Slam. Peace. Peace.